What's up, Asperia? It's Danger Gray from Analytica, and today we are taking a look at the Astral Fair. The Astral Fair is in town. So you'll find this event in your events list, right? So here we go, the Astral Fair. And when I first got to this event here, I was a little confused by what's going on. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys around, right? So there's three different elements of this uh, event and it looks like if you line them up just right you get one every hour like they are here so you get the trivia quiz one hour later you can do sorting stall and one hour after that century quest expo um they're every five hours that cycle repeats itself except at one point it goes four hours later it's like a fair where you go to the fair and there's different uh carnival games you can play that is the essence of the astral fair as you play these carnival games you will complete different tasks here are the different things I was a l under a little bit different impression of what was going on than what actually is going on. So let me explain it to you. So the one that I've actually competed in so far was the sorting stall, which is great. I like the sorting stall. It's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed sorting the backpacks for the most part. Some of you guys may hate that. I totally understand. It's not for everybody. Same thing with Century Quest. It's kind of a pain on a PC. We have to click the different cards. It's a lot easier on my phone. You know, whatever. I haven't done the trivia quiz yet. That one interests me. That'll be available in an hour and a half, but I don't think we have to do it in order for me to explain all the rest of this to you. Let me know in the comments which ones you guys like, which ones you hate. I'd love to hear. Um, but so the way that it works is as I was doing the sorting stall, you come here to the guy where for the event. He's standing right here. Something I would highly suggest doing is going into your uh, settings here and going to viewable players set it to few or some or whatever you need to because for me at least and i'm just on ptr right now this isn't even global but on ptr this was this guy was so slammed with people that i couldn't even see him to click on him he was standing right about here once you speak to the guy he'll have like a countdown or whatever assuming that you get here a couple minutes before the event starts right um you could probably start with the event going on, I don't know, I would imagine, but it's a 15 minute long excursion where you can do as many sorting stalls as you like. There are four people here, one, two, three, and the fourth one standing right here. And each of them has a different level of difficulty of sorting stall from easy to medium to hard. Um, the, the difficult ones or the hard ones, they were there was a lot of range there so i found some of them to be really tough uh but mostly they were all kind of doable but what i did was i went around between them all and and got until every single one of the four of them had a difficult one at that point i would solve the difficult one but um because each of the four different vendors has a different difficulty you can skip the one if it's if it's a difficult one and move on to the next guy who has an easy one sitting there um I thought the purpose of it would be to compete against everybody else who was competing at that moment. Not the case. The actual thing that you're competing for is to simply complete these quests. These quests, such as uh, complete a hard sorting stall challenge 10 times, complete a medium sorting stall challenge 10 times, you'll get these little tickets here for this, for doing these little different quests. If you want to do that, you can. And it will show here. That is not necessarily a bad thing to do. It's probably the best way to do it would be to do as many as you can, of course, right? That means you're succeeding. But um, that is not how you win the, the prizes. That goes to the leaderboard here. But as far as I can see, uh, and I'll update this if we get a different input. But as far as I can see, I'm not sure there's really any pride. This might just be for bragging rights. Um, let me know again in the comments if you guys see where there's rewards for... Uh, the highest scores but all I'm seeing here is simply uh, a leaderboard that it does show that I got 29 uh, which I, I was trying to solve a difficult one for like five minutes at the beginning and then I was like wait there's other vendors so I'm sure I could probably do better but um, anyway the, the point really is to do these knock these out and for example complete Phillips sorting stall challenge 20 times Philip was the guy I think that was telling us the instructions I imagine that Philip is one of those four people, and I did his six times that time. Um, so I also don't see another name in here for that. So if that's the case, I would stand in front of Philip and do all of his because you're going to get the most points that way. Uh, and then if you're doing it, let's assume it's kind of the similar for Century Quest, stand in front of Rolina and do all of her Century Quests, right? The point really is to knock out these different things, not necessarily do as many easy ones as you can or whatever. So. 
that said, once you earn these tickets, there is a shop which comes to here. So once you earn these different tickets doing the different events, you can purchase things in here. These are the sweet stuff down here. They're uh, stellar crystals, but they're not available until three days after the Astral Fair begins. Three days after Astral Fair begins. So I will be hoarding. You know me, free to play. I'm going to be hoarding my 1350 and however many I get um, until that day, at which point I'm going to buy these out and then I'll probably buy the purples and the rest of these and yada yada. I'm sure by the end of the event, we'll probably max the damn thing out because that's how we do. Um, oh, yeah. I love this guy. <laughs> He's one of my favorite uh, NPCs in the game is this, this dude up here. I think his name is simply Owner the, the last time we saw him. Um, I doubt that's really his full name. But um, anyway, that is how this event works. Uh, I think I covered all the, the other thing is, you know, there's, there's one of the, I mean, you saw it right there. There's, there's this right here, right? Where, you know, you're going to go along here and eventually get all these envelopes. That is how this event works. Maybe I'll post an update in a couple days. Once I figure out exactly like, I don't know, some, some details to help exactly how to, how to do the best, best, best at it. But that is way more information than I had going in. It would have helped me and I've only even done one of the events. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I will catch you next time right here on AFK with Danger Gray. Analytica forever. Stay safe, Asperians.